here are five videos that inspired us this month. You won $1,000. Back in March, you might recall a certain video of a local homeless man named Eric winning a $1,000 lottery ticket. The clip, created by popular YouTube star Magic of Rahat, touched millions of viewers and raised $44,000 for Eric. I'm gonna be honest with you. This isn't really my house. This is what he did with the money. This is your house. <laughs> My daughter does not know I'm coming today, so she's going to be very surprised when she sees me. In an amazing stroke of luck, U.S. Army Reserve Captain Keith Robinson was given approval to leave his unit just as his daughter was graduating university. He embarked on a journey that lasted more than 14 hours from Afghanistan to New York City and made it just in time to surprise his daughter at the ceremony. Congratulations, young lady. <laughs> Big logs coming. Here's a novel approach to an age-old problem. And that wheel is turning this conveyor belt that is picking up all of this trash that is flowing down the Jones Fall. The water wheel trash interceptor sucks 50,000 pounds of trash a day out of the Baltimore Harbor. At this rate, the organizers of the Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore say the harbor might actually be safe to swim in by 2020. There are four stackable rings of incremental sizes. Toys are not created equal. Finding one that's appropriate for the kid in your life is difficult enough. It's even more challenging if that kid has special needs. Megan is blind and has other impairments, including low muscle control. Her teachers said that it was difficult to find toys that Megan could use with her friends. Enter Maeve Johnson and Cynthia Poon, Rhode Island School of Design grads who started Increment, a company dedicated to creating toys that fit all kids, especially children with physical impairments. The debate on climate change should not be whether or not it's, it exists, it's what we should do about it. Some studies say that 97 out of 100 climate scientists agree that humans cause global warming. John Oliver thinks that one-on-one -on -one cable news channel debate doesn't seem like the most accurate way to present the issues surrounding our changing weather. More often than not, it's Bill Nye the science guy versus some dude. So he staged his own debate. In the interest of mathematical balance, I'm going to bring out two people who agree with you, climate skeptic, and Bill Nye, I'm also going to bring out 96 other scientists. <laughs> uh, it's a little unwieldy, but this is the only way you can actually have a representative discussion. Point taken. What is the overwhelming view of the entire scientific community? Well. <laughs> okay. 